Well, good afternoon, everybody. Better late than never. And uh, here we go. We'll give it a go for the second time. I think we've sorted the issue now, but uh, let's give it a go and see where we are. And of course, I'm going to start the tile again because uh, yeah, we might have missed it or thinking, what on earth's going on here? So here we go. Tile number 356. Got my regular pen pencil torty on and I've got my little ruler here because here we go. Move that one out of the way. I'm going to put myself a border in here. Now, if you've already done this, hang fire, you're a little bit ahead of me. But if not, let's get this done now. So here we go. Let's put a border in. Hello again, everybody. I know. It's been a bit crazy, hasn't it? I know. A mad week. Absolutely mad week. There we go. So we've got a nice border I've done with a pen. I'm just going to put my lid on for now. Because I'm going to come in with my pencil. And I'm going to draw a diagonal line that way. And a diagonal line that way. And then on the left hand side of each one, I marked a line like that. And I'm going to turn it round and do it again. Oh, that's not very, that might be a bit better. There we go. And that way. And into that one. And this one. There we go. So sort of that's where we were almost, isn't it? We've got that kind of a shape. Now what I want to do is I'm going to put another border in just underneath. So here we go. I'm not going to draw through those lines I've already got there. I'm just going to put one in here, look. So there and there. So I'm not going into that bit. And I'm going to do the same here, look. So it's going to sort of be, yeah, let's have a look there. There. And there. So we've got that kind of thing. Okay. So I'm just going to make that all over the place with my lines today. What's going on? Using a ruler, that's why. I don't usually use a ruler. Okay, so we've got that kind of thing. Okay, happy with that? All right, now I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go back over it now and uh, draw all this in with a pen. Sorry about that, Sue. We had a few uh, networking issues. But it's all good now. We're all sorted, so we should be fine. And I brought Facebook up and it was like, live video? No, you're not doing a live video. It's not allowed. I think I need a cup of tea, John. can't have this you're gonna have to wait you can get one off the shelf sorry everybody we're having a bit of not quite a domestic <laughs> john wants my crafter ruler and i've told him no we can't have it because <laughs> i'm using it some in stock you can get one off the shelf <laughs> oh dear i'm just gonna make sure that these lines are straight here see i'm just using the edge of my ruler there and that's Go along, okay. <laughs> no, I've not. <laughs> I've not been on the wine. I've not, honestly. So, you know, with with moving, I'm actually in the other building, so we've had to sort of. It's a different network, and John said he told me, and I said he hadn't. <laughs> so yeah, but we're okay now. It's it's all good. Now I know it's fine. There you go. All right. So, okay. There we are. Look at that. As simple as that. It took all that time and effort just to get that bit done. But no, quite like it. I'm happy there. Oh, Maureen, I think it's because Dobby's not in the building. That's what it is. Somebody has to play up, don't they? <laughs> all right. So what I'm going to do with each one of these now is I'm going to create a little border on each side. So see a little line there? And a little line on there. See, I can see through that, so I know I'm not doing it too wide. Happy with that. Okay, so it looks like that. And then here, one on this one. And one on this one. Okay. 
That's because Dobby's always always to blame, always. He's uh, really looking forward to Thursday, though. He actually wants a new outfit. Whether he gets one or not, I don't know. Because, of course, I'm on Hobby Maker with our wonderful Pauline. So he's absolutely a bit, he's a bit giddy at the minute. Wanting to uh, meet up with her. So, yeah, I'll probably find him at the, at the studio. <laughs> okay, so there we are. Got those little bits done. Let's make a start then. I'm going to go a bit bigger. And what I want to do in, uh, it doesn't matter which one, I'm going to put in a row of bubbles. Okay. See, sort of follow it up. No need to rush with these. I think if you give them a little bit of attention, you find that you get a slightly rounder feel. There we are. You start rushing them, they go a little bit oval and squashed. There we go. And then this one. That's kind of bit. Putting those in. It's, I quite like going back to these. Bubbles are great. They do so many different things, don't they? All right. So I'm going to turn it round now. This at the bottom. Then this one here. I'm going to do the same. Fill it with bubbles. And uh, just sort of enjoy putting them in. I'm not going to put any black ink around them because they're really small and uh, the shading and things will sort of take over a little bit anyway. Oh, my husband's forgiven. <laughs> He's brought me a cup of tea. <laughs> Thank you, John. They've got me bleeding out. <laughs> <laughs> and he's managed to sneak past Leslie and get his own crafty planner. Ruler. <laughs> So you think it's all fun and games over here. It's deadly serious. It really is. What's going on? <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay. Oh, Jackie, do you know what? If you look real close at mine, they're not particularly neat. <laughs> but you know what he's like, Maureen? He'll do one cup of tea and that's it. He's off. He thinks he's done. <laughs> Next one's. I'm going to do um, little curved part bubbles on this one. Let's go in a little bit more, you see? And uh, work my way down that side. I'm not going to worry about that pencil line. I can rub that out later or leave it. It's going to get shaded at some point anyway. That's quite nice to do. But just remember that your hand will move down. You don't have to do it all in one go. Oh, Sue, so, no, this isn't a new colour. This is out of the original sorbets. The uh, lemon out of that one. I am thinking of, uh, I am keeping the sorbet colours. I just don't have any of their paper in stock at the minute. Because they are pretty, aren't they? They're really nice colours. Sometimes you just want something in the background. Slightly different cardstock, as you know, but here we go. All right. So it almost looks like the same, but it, it's not. I think if I've got any bits, any large bits, just fill in. Bubbles and part bubbles. See, that feels weird going that way. I'll do it anyway. But if you think, oh my goodness, that feels a bit odd, then, you know, turn your towel around. So again, choose one, it can be any of them, doesn't matter. I'm going to come in with, I'm going to use this one, let's go out a little bit. And I'm going to put a zigzag in there. Like that. Okay, and the same on this side. John's just made me one because he shouted at me. 
tried to pinch my crafty ruler. Oh! And I was using it. Exactly, you need it. So I don't know if he's sneaked past you and he's got his own. Yes, he came and asked me for one. Oh, there you go, see. Oh, so I'm, I'm useless. Oh, I'm no, never. I'm to requirements. Never. <gasps> oh, see, he's, up. he's not made Leslie one. Afternoon, guys, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to do the same whilst I've got my tile in this position on here and put those lines in there. And again, they're certainly not straight, but they don't really have to be. If you want to do waves, you can. You don't have to fill it with lines. You can just colour them in if you want to. We've got that kind of a thing. All right. <laughs> I know I can hear Leslie now. She's in the kitchen, but it, the kitchen's a little bit further away now, see? Now we've got our hole in the wall. All right, I'm gonna bring my ruler back in, being that John didn't nick it. And I'm gonna continue this sort of, this line down here. And then that one there, down there. Even this one here, you know where we've got this row? Down there, okay. So it looks like it's going underneath. So let's continue that shape there. Kind of like doing that one. And on that side. And then looking at these triangles, let's imagine going along, it's going to go underneath. See, it's going to come out about there. And I continue. Oh, look at that, that triangle shape. Uh, oh, Sam, just seen that question yet. Yeah, everything, everything has been sent. Everything went by Friday last week from Hobby Maker. Apart from, I mean, if you've ordered in the last couple of days, then orders are coming in all the time. But from the show, everything has left here. And I've had a couple of messages from a few saying that it was that order, but we have actually sent, everything's gone, so... Uh, Okay, this one here, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go underneath, underneath. We are pretty quick at getting things out. We just had to, uh, that's it. There's a couple that went late last week or later than we wanted because we had to get a little bit more paper in. But um, everything had gone by Friday, so. So then, next bit, same with the triangle. Look, I'm gonna imagine it's coming out there, this one is. And mine just so happens to fit there. If yours doesn't, doesn't matter, keep it going. Absolutely fine. And again, I'm just gonna put those lines in. And those that way. So, coming the other way now, I'm gonna bring those lines in on those triangles. So, you know, it goes a little bit, messes with your head a little bit this tangle does. You've got lines going in all directions. Oh, I like it. There we go. And of course, if you wanted to, you could uh, use a thicker pen so they looked more like stripes. So you could color some of these in if you wanted to. There's uh, so many different ways. Let's go along there. There we go. Full line. So I'm going to do the same on this one. And bringing it in. Following that line there. So they're slightly at differences to each other. Oh, teacher, that's great. Thank you for letting me know. I know it gets a little bit frustrating at times with post. But at once it's left us. It's sort of out of our hands, and that's even with the Royal Mail. We we, uh, we can't track everything, but we do get them out as quick as. And any, if you've ever got a problem, we, we, we sort it out generally. It just means sometimes uh, it's a little bit of a longer wait. There you go. Oh, 
jacket it is that. It is Stars and Stripes Day, isn't it? So, I don't know. All right, should we do this one? So now this time, instead of doing pot and stopping, I'm actually going to put this bit in first. So we're going to have a, another piece going under. There we go, see there? And I'm going to continue the bubbles. And the same with this one. So if I take this one up there, and just follow that in, there we go. And follow the bubbles. So that's going up this one here. And then this one. So that one didn't really, oh, didn't really touch at all, that one. There you go. And this one. Okay. And this one. There we go. Okay. So now this one here, I'm going to put a wavy line in it. And yes, Marie, there are a couple of new items that you might like on a Thursday. Maybe. <laughs> See, I'm going underneath. And I'm on. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to put in, let's do a full sort of a, a little leaf shape there with a line. And then I can get a full leaf shape here. And I'm going to take the line in the opposite direction. And then this one. And then this one. See how that's sort of working? So this one's going to have one in here. And looking at it, see that one's going to be that way. It's going to get a bit of it there. And then here again. So if you wanted to, you could put all your little leaf shapes in first. And then you've got lines going that way and lines going that way. So same again here, look. Get a little bit of the end there. I'm sort of working my way around. I'm putting those little leafy shapes in. One in there. I'll see, maybe the products coming on on Thursday is going to get you back into it something a bit different all right so far so good so looking at these spaces now i'm going to do a similar thing i'm going to put that border in a lot of borders today and lines isn't there but, but sometimes it's nice to do that and have that little bit of structure in as we did quite an organic one last time didn't we so it's nice to follow it one. So I know you all liked the Getting Created, Created With Your Frames book and we've done two of those so far. So uh, if you liked those, there is another one, book three coming on Thursday. So that one's just been printed. There you go. So this time you can choose. I'm going to do, I'm going to do circles in this one. In. This is a real good one if you, you really want to sit down and just focus and sort of zone out for a, a little while because it's going to just sort of keep you going with simple shapes and filling in lines. Just sort of works. Oh, Marie, you're going to love this one then. You've got to imagine, you know, when you're at class. And I give you a stencil, although you know what the stencil is with these and you know what the finished image is like. But they're sort of bigger pieces that we would likely do in class. So you've got eight new designs coming. Now here, what am I going to do? Shall I do two lots of bubbles, all bubbles, or I could do halves? So I'm going to go again with bubbles. So I'm going to do two, two sides of bubbles, two sides half bubbles. You can do all the same if you like. See where that leads. There we go. Okay. Uh, Joe, yes, you'll already have the frames. 
I've used circles, ovals, hexagons and nonagons in this book. I've also included a butterfly, which I used from the butterfly stencil. So um, you don't have to, but I've included that as, as one of the designs. So I've gone with um, frames I think possibly you'll have, or even if you don't have them, then they're, they're really good frames. kind of U shapes there. same that way so you don't be afraid to turn your tile around if you want to do these the other way makes it a little bit more comfortable and there you go keep it going and same with this one so putting those shapes in Uniform, so you get a bit of consistency going, and then along this way. But again, you turn your tile if you think that you can draw them better the other way around. So sort of coming down there. Okay, so we've got that going. So of course, when I've got these, I actually did this sort of triangle shape. So I'm, I'm going to repeat that here. Bringing that along. You see that's not quite gone to the edge, but that's okay. It can look like it's going out. And then in with the lines. So starting with triangles in one direction, putting those lines in. That's all of them. Working on, you don't, have to have the same amount in each one if you don't want to. Don't worry about that. And then the next one into there. And then this one. And a lock. Just sort of following through. And of course, you could do this in different colours. And you know, if you wanted something more organic, you could draw. Uh, the main sort of the main frame in the black, and then use your your brush pen, you know, your fine liners, to uh, do the colour, and then maybe spritz it and let them loose a little bit, so you get something more um, artistic in that sense. So it's not as a sort of uh, structured if you want to, if you want to go a bit crazy, you could do that. Or of course you could change up these tangles and you can add other things in there, maybe curls and swirls, or complete bubbles or, or just lines all the way through. But uh, so I'm keeping it sort of structured today just to give us a, one that we can use for a bit of focus if you need it now and again. There we are, and same with this one. And that one. There we are. So let's have a look at this one then. So I'm going to come in with that swirl again. And I'm going to do a swirl on this side as well. So it's mixing a little bit of curves with lines. I think if it was all complete lines, you know, you need a little bit of a break up in it. Just to get Give you something a bit different there. There you go. Put my little lines in. in this one. Uh, Chris, I've done bubbles in that one and bubbles in that one. And then there I did part bubbles and part bubbles. So I've sort of mixed and matched today. If you want to do all bubbles there, that's fine. They, they look quite similar, but I just want it to be a little bit different. Didn't want it to be death by bubble. All right. So I'm just coming, come back in with 
my ruler here, being that I've used it and John hasn't got it. I'm going to thicken up that line there. You see? And then I'm going to add another little line there. Same on this one, sticking up that line and put another one. Turning it round. Oh, it does a bit Charlotte. You know, maybe using the uh, different colours as well, but maybe the the rusts and the darker colours would give it a little bit of an earthy feel. It's quite nice, isn't it? And then here at the bottom, I'm just gonna add in a little triangle that can fill it in. Just so it looks like there's something going on there. So okay, I'm going to bring my uh, pencil in now. Everything else to one side. And, uh, here we go. Got it sharp, ready. And let's start with um, this little bit in the middle. So you see, this one looks like it's going underneath that one. So let's put some pencil there. Put some pencil there. Okay. And I'm going to add some pencil, just not as much to the edges there, okay? Let's, let's torch you on this as we're going. So, softening it out along the shape there. And this one, this way. And a little bit there. You see, I'm going across the whole shape. It's almost like it's a piece of ribbon, isn't it? And along there. That's our first little bit. Unders and overs, that's right, Janet. <laughs> So I'm going to come in and add a little bit of pencil, not so heavy, on one of the edges of my triangles. Okay. And then again, just add a touch. And I'm not going all the way across, just giving it a little bit. All right. And then coming the other way, I'm going to choose one of the other sides. Again, not as heavy. Just give me a little bit of highlight there. Okay. So I can come in with a little bit heavier. Oh, thank you, John. Sort of touch that up on the ends. There we go. So let's do the same on this one. So again, I'm going to put this in first. It just sort of builds up the layers, I think, gives you a little bit of a head start. Oh, just on that bit there. Not on those bubbles, just on those ones. And then again, look underneath there and underneath there. This is why I think sometimes it's nice to uh, do these in little bits so you can really see where it's working. That one there. It gives us our basis. And then as before, not as much. But I'm going to put some on those. I might as well do this way as I'm going. nice Clarice something to look forward to just a nice way of just chilling out isn't it after getting some work done okay so again do I want that a little bit heavier there you know you've got to look at your own tile and see how you feel you? there it is so next bit then I'm going to come in with this one so same sort of thing pencil here and here at the top, and then underneath there, and underneath there, and same with this one. Now we've sort of got the hang of it. I can do those two at once. Under there, and then let's soften that off. Put it down, and. There you go. Same with this one. See 
how that just sort of softens off. There you go. And even that little bit of a highlight in the middle there. Okay. So next one, it's going to be here and here. And this time I can come in, I think, now and add in those little lines. So I might as well do this one at the same time. So both edges. And then put in a little bit on those edges as well. There we go. And next one. So just ever so gently just sort of touching them in. Same with this one. Bringing that side a bit down. And then we go for those. I think I'm going to get my white pencil out in a minute. Right. And again, here we go. This side and this side. Over in there. And this one. And this one. on again. Soften those off. And here. And here. Okay. You see? So last sort of thing. I want to come in with a bit of pencil underneath that line there. underneath it. I want to keep that sort of free and clear of any graphite and then have a little bit down that cross, that original cross that we drew. There's plenty of graphite going on now anyway. Okay. This time I'm going to soften across it. I don't want it though to go all the way down. Just gently but you see, I've left that so it looks quite bright. And there we are. And I've not gone into swirls. I've kept this quite straight. And this one. Okay. So I think we need to do a little bit of white pencil on here. So here we go. Let's go in a bit. So that's my, uh, my chalky pencil. So I'm going to start with seeing this sort of centre here where I've got a couple of these little triangles. You see, just sort of where it's not the, the graphite's not come all the way down. So I'm looking at sort of in the middle. Okay, and it's almost like a little highlight on there. So not many. And then you see where we've got these, where we've done pencil both sides, but we've got some in the middle here again. That we can add some to. And see this one, not so much, it's a bit smaller. What we have there, not on that one though. See, that's almost full of graphite because we pulled it from there. Where you've got a few others like this one. You can get a bit of a highlight in. And then looking at these pieces, again, top and bottom, there's a lot of graphite. So let's put a little bit just in the middle there. Again, a real small bit, but it'll still take a bit. Just in those sections. And a little bit there. And again, just on this little bit here. And where you've got this line, as well. See that line there? And then this line. So that one we kept on purpose. And then this one. Again with this I can add a little bit there as well. We touch more there. Let's have a little look at that. You see the difference that highlight makes? 
just having it a little bit in there just gives it a little bit more, doesn't it? So I'm going to come back in now with my black pen. Okay. And where I've got these lines crossing, you know where we put that original X? I'm going to come back through and put that back in. Certainly in that, that middle section, I want it to look like it's crossing. It's important there. And the same here. See, a lot of it we've, we've sort of... You lose because of the graphite. But you can bring it back again. Let's see. And then where anything crosses, so I'm just going to go back in. And just make sure that anything that's going underneath something else like that is... Uh, also, but again, that's a bit better. And then uh, here too, when we've got this line, I'm just going to do that line there. You see, I'm not going to go all the way down, just that bit where it sort of uh, goes over and under. Again, just giving it that little bit of definition, just to remind you that it, they are going underneath. One. That one again. If you feel that you uh, you need to, you can go back in. We can redefine some of those bubbles in that top section where it's uh, got a little bit heavy there. Let's see, that's okay. And just put those top bits back on there. Go around with the bubble, let's darken them up a bit. All right, let's have a little look at that. There you go. So we've got that sort of little bit of depth going on. You can definitely now see that they're going under. So just a little bit more pencil. I know it's quite a lot on today, isn't there? You see, just under here, I want to just bring out a little bit over there and then there. So just sort of where it's going over there, just sort of on those edges, and this one. See there, I'm going over that bit there, I'm just doing that bit. I'm not going to move it too far, keep it straight. That's it, keep it straight. And then again. It does, doesn't it, Jackie? That white really makes a difference. Just gives it that little bit of something it needs, almost. Just adds that extra sort of level, doesn't it? That's better. Okay. And there we are. Bit lost. I'm just going to move that bit of pencil there. I don't need that there. And that is our tile for the day so thank you for sticking with me earlier with the uh, issues with the connection what we got there in the end and all done and sorted now so have a little bit of fun with it enjoy uh, of course not forget i'm going to sign it so all being well i'll uh, i'll see you thursday afternoon if, uh, if you're about on watching and uh, yeah all done. So next tile should be as normal on Friday. And I'm saying should be, probably it will be fine. So not to worry. Uh, so I'll, I'll see you then. So have a good one, everybody. Take care. Enjoy this one. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.